Welcome to Allenberry Reports TV. I'm your host, Allenberry Labucan from AllenberryReports.com. Uh, today we have a new installment of our In the News segment. Uh, this is the show where we talk about uh, resource companies with uh, recent developments. And before we get started, we'll, we always want to send out some thank yous. Uh, first of all, we use uh, YouTube.com and Ustream.tv to uh, produce these shows and broadcast them to you. Uh, they're really great uh, websites for anybody interested in doing online shows and we highly recommend them. Uh, in addition, uh, if you're watching this show on our website at allenberryreports.com, you'll notice to the left and right of me that there's um, uh, banners. Uh, those banners are companies are really Im important in us being able to uh, bring these shows to you. And uh, if you want to do some homework on those companies, you just click on their website. That'll take you to their websites where you can. Uh, they've got plenty of information for you to do your homework. And of course, to you, the viewers, uh, without you, we wouldn't have a reason to do the show. Uh, so thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, on today's show, we have uh, two resource companies to talk about. One is focused on copper, and the other is uh, involved with uh, gold. And uh, they've both uh, got a lot to talk about, so we'll um, we'll get right to it. The first company we're going to talk about today is uh, Candente Copper Corp. On the disclosure, we are shareholders of the company. Our past coverage uh, started in uh, on our. Uh, they're a featured company in our Allen Berry Reports email newsletter. We started coverage of them on May the 9th, 2006. That was our seventh edition. Um, they were formerly known as uh, Candente Resources. Now they're Candente Copper Corp. Uh, if you look above me, you'll see a report section. And in that report section, you'll find that May uh, 9th, uh, 2006 seventh edition and uh, this is the first time we've had them on our um, Allen Berry Reports TV show. Um, their website is candentecopper.com that's spelled C-A-N-D-E-N-T-E-C-O-P-P-E-R.com. Uh, the news that they had out was on November the 1st and the headline from that uh, news release is Candente or Canariaco Norte Copper Resource uh, Increases Significantly then they uh, go on in that press release that they are uh, reported an updated mineral resource estimate uh, recently completed for their Canariaco Norte copper deposit in Peru uh, and has uh, confirmed a substantial increase in the mineral resource. Uh, they go on that uh, as part of the ongoing pre-feasibility study of the Canariaco Norte project, AMAC Americas uh, has remodeled and reclassified the mineral resource and issued an updated significantly larger resource estimate. Um, then they go on at the base case 0.3% uh, copper cutoff grade Canon Riaco measured and indicated tonnage has increased by 21% and measured and indicated re contained copper has increased by 16%. Uh, they talk about some of the details. Um, they're measured in indicated categories. They have 752 million tons, grading 0.45% copper, which contains 7.53 million billion pounds of copper. Um, and uh, then they talk about their inferred resource, which has uh, 157 million tons at uh, one point that works out to 1.43 billion pounds of copper. Um, then they uh, give you more details. There's a good quote in here from uh, Sean Waller, who is the uh, president of Candente Copper, and he stated, commented, and I quote, this updated mineral resource estimate will now be the basis for the Canariaco Norte pre-feasibility study currently underway, and we anticipate that it will have a very positive effect on the value of the Canariaco Norte deposit. This new development uh, provides further support to our conviction that Nor Nor Can Canariaco Norte will be one of the best generation of Peruvian copper mines, end quote. So uh, again, you can find that news release on their website. Um, some of the reasons that we like uh, Candente and have followed them for a number of years now, spoken about them on uh, several uh, occasions, is that uh, they have a very large uh, resource of copper. 
It's in a mining friendly jurisdiction of Peru. Uh, they have, um, uh, they're moving the project forward towards now doing the pre-feasibility study, uh, finding uh, a large um, uh, copper deposits in mining friendly jurisdictions is not easy. Ca uh, Ca Candente definitely has one of those in their Canariaco uh, project. They have uh, exploration uh, potential beyond uh, the, what they've currently um, been working on. And um, so they've got a lot on the go. Um, and, uh, you know, ultimately it's an undeveloped uh, large copper deposit. And, uh, and uh, we think that those will be in high demand in the future. So, uh, again, if you want to do some homework on the company, as we always suggest, uh, check out their website that I mentioned earlier, and uh, I think you'll find a lot of uh, good stuff on there. The second company we're going to talk about today is, <laughs> going to turn the page here, <laughs> second company is Lakeshore Gold. On the disclosure, we're not shareholders of the company. Our past coverage, uh, they, they are a featured company in our Allen Berry Reports email newsletter. Again, if you check above me there uh, on the website, if you're watching this show on our website, you'll uh, see the uh, past reports. In there you can find the, uh, you would look for the June 15th, 2009 edition, which was our 24th edition. We've also had them on our past uh, Allen Berry Reports TV shows on our Ustream channel. You would, uh, and again, that's, uh, there's a link to the Ustream channel above me there on the website. Uh, you would look for the August the 5th, August the 25th, September the 16th, and uh, then we also had them on our YouTube channel on October the 13th. Um, since we last talked about them on October the 13th, they've had several news releases out. Um, uh, they have four we're going to try and get through today. Uh, the first one uh, was on November the 1st, and uh, in that news release they announced, the headline is, Lakeshore Gold continues to confirm and expand Thunder Creek Rusk Horizon initial drilling on the 650 level intersects Rusk Zone and 100 meters of porphyry. Um, they talk about, uh, they give you some details there on their, uh, their underground working, uh, high grade mineralization, down dip. Uh, some of the high-grade intercepts included uh, 12.11 grams per ton gold over 7.2 meters. They had another hole with 9.44 grams per ton gold over 7.9 meters. And then they have some more holes there that uh, have uh, very, very good grades and intersections like that. Um, they talked about uh, where the drilling is currently uh, uh, operating. Later in the press release, there's a quote from... Uh, uh, Tony McCooch, who's the president and CEO of Lakeshore, and he commented, and I quote, the recent results from development and drilling around the 300 level at Thunder Creek continues to be very encouraging and highlight the potential to further expand what we are confident is already a large gold system. Uh, based on the limited tons extracted from the 300 level to date, we are encouraged by the grades we have encountered, which have averaged over 7.5 grams per ton in the primary mineralized area targeted by the crosscut and covered by recent drilling. The substantial grade and width plus the presence of multiple zones in the 300 level drilling is a positive indication for the first NI43101 resource for the Thunder Creek deposit, which we are working on to complete in the second half of 2011. We are also pleased with our first underground drill hole from the 650 level, which has intersected the Rusk zone as well as substantial mineralization in the porphyry zone and we look forward to reaching the mineralization with our access drift over the next couple of weeks." End quote. So uh, that's, uh, that's from that news release. Then the uh, following day on November 2nd they had another news release out. The headline from that one was Lakeshore Gold Extends High Grade Core to Depth at Bell Creek identify second major mineralized trend within the Bell Creek complex. Uh, they had in there some highlights. Uh, one of the holes, for example, had a 106.46 grams per ton gold over 7.05 meters. They had another hole with 9.39 grams per ton gold over 5.7 meters. Plenty of other holes there they talk about. They also give you some details on the exploration work. Um, 
there's plenty of details in this press release we can't go into all of them but uh, that's another one to look for uh, then on November the 3rd man they were putting them out one after another there on November the 3rd um, they, they, they announced that uh, the headline from that news release is Lakeshore reaches 2,000 tons per day target at Bell Creek Mill on track to mine 65,000 ounces of gold in 2010 and to exit year at 10,000 ounces per month un, ounces monthly production rate they talk about their phase one expansion of the Bell Creek Mill uh, that's to upgrade the uh, pros, uh, how much they can throughput uh, completed within the budget that's also another really good uh, indicator they talk about how much uh, they produced um, later in the press release there's a good quote from the president and CEO uh, of Lakeshore Tony Makuch who commented and I quote we're extremely pleased with the progress that has been made in Timmins the Bell Creek Mill expansion went very well and is now complete and at the Timmins mine both the minute mining rate and the grades realized to date in the UM1 zone very much meet our expectations we continue to target mine production of 65,000 uh, recoverable ounces in 2010 a portion of which is expected to be held in inventory at the end of the year for per processing at the beginning of 2011 reflecting the timing for commissioning of the Bell Creek Mill expansion we ex also expect to end 2010 at a monthly production rate of 10,000 ounces from the Bell Creek Mill end quote so then they had um, uh, a uh, little while later on November the 11th they had another news release out these guys have been really busy uh, the headline from that one is Lakeshore Gold announces high grade intercepts major expansion of the main and expansion of resource blocks at Timmins Mine then they have a whole bunch of details with the high uh, really good grades of drilling uh, uh, grades in there of gold and intersections and a lot of details about the exploration again you can find all of that on their website um, some of the reasons that we like uh, Lakeshore Gold is they're a gold focused company they're in a mining friendly region they're focused in well known geological areas that have had past production uh, they're now a new gold mining company uh, they have a strong and they also have a strong pipeline um, from exploration through to production so um, this company is really busy as you can know we talked about them on our October 13th show and uh, since then they had about five news releases out uh, on their uh, various different efforts so they're a really busy company uh, you want to do your homework on that company just go to their website their website is lsgold.com forgot to mention that earlier again that's lsgold.com so that's a wrap on our in the news uh, today uh, before closing we'd like to stress that this show and our reports are for information purposes only we aren't making buying or selling recommendations it's important for you to do your own uh, homework and research before making any investment decisions and also to uh, consult with your uh, financial advisors we're always trying to grow, grow our audience any effort you can make to help us uh, we'd really appreciate let you letting your friends that uh, know, follow the markets know about our website our shows our reports and um, uh, we really appreciate you also taking the time to watch the shows um, our next show will be our market commentary slash uh, week in review uh, tomorrow and um, we hope you can join us for that show um, all of our uh, work can be found on our website at allenberryreports.com that's the hub uh, of our uh, all of our efforts and uh, so thanks a lot for tuning in today have a great day and we'll see you soon